My name is Mark O'Shea. I'm an herpetologist. That's a, a zoologist who specialises in both reptiles and amphibians, although my primary area is... Uh, I study snakes. With his, with his straggly beard and shorts, Mark O'Shea looks like something the British Army have left behind in Burma. <laughs> He's been living on stewed snake ever since, and it's left him suspicious and irascible. <laughs> right on. They call me the Guy Guy Towner. And Towners are magic men. They're witch doctors. And the Guy Guy Towner is, is the man who has the power over the snakes. And it's largely because I was catching a lot of dangerous snakes. And then thinking, you know, how can he be doing this? I must have some power that I keep secret. I said, no, it's just, sure, it's just science. The science is magic to non-scientists. You know, um, <laughs> you know the, the electric light is magic if you don't know how it functions. I felt like it was like a massive jolt of electricity. And I must have jumped. And she said, the nurse, she said, um, are you all right? Are you all right? I said, the venom's going global. I felt it. And with that, it broke through the barrier. And my whole body, you, you know when you see a cartoon of Tom and Jerry, and Tom gets electrocuted. It's <laughs> just like that. All his hair stands on end, and he's just, just jumping around. That's me. That's exactly how I felt. I felt like I'd been plugged into the mains and had been turned right up full. And I was just... The venom had just, it was my whole body. And I knew this is, was serious. I thought, this, I've, had, I've had rattlesnake bites in the past, but none like this. And I thought, um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> if I lose consciousness now, if I allow myself to go to sleep, I'm pretty sure I won't wake up again. I've written five or six books. I've presented around 40 natural history, adventure style, uh, television documentaries. I'm consultant curator of reptiles at West Midlands Safari Park and I've been based there for nearly 30 years. And I've been travelling overseas for a very long time, indulging in my passion for, for the kind of animals that most people have nightmares about.